So as you can see, it's snowing. <laughs> we are on the move. I'm having a little bit, a little bit of a shuffle around. You got some snow on your backs, ladies. So there we go, it's a snowy morning on Thursday the 31st of March after what has been a very nice uh, sunny month, warm temperatures last week. Um, we've now got snow, um, doesn't look like it's going to stick around very much um, and it's only on the higher ground I think, uh, just a dusting. I'm sure that the livestock will cope with it fine. <coughs> All the sheep look fine, so that's good. They're fine. They're fine. Let's just hope not any lambs are gone today. So the plan for today is taking five uh, cool ewes to market. It's going to be the first time that I've done that without Dad. So um, it's an experience that I'm eager to get under my belt. Uh, so obviously Nick's going to help me. Um, and yeah, they were just used that didn't scan for anything. I think some of them didn't have any lambs last year either. So I think the prices are okay at the moment. Let's get them off the farm and bring in a bit of money. Uh, so I've uh, fluffed up the hay so they can get to it and uh, they can have a good nibble and that'll give them something to do. I'm sure they'll be able to keep warm enough. The wind isn't too bad and uh, yeah, I'm not too worried about this snow at the moment. And it looks like the cows have not revisited the baths since we filled them up yesterday. So that's good. Hopefully the water will last until Saturday. In this weather, when it's uh, when it's a bit colder and maybe a bit rainy, and I think I can just see a Highland cow there. So I've got two. You've got two. So this is a bit of a mixture of lambs and and ewes. <coughs> This one is the one that I called Old Girl. I don't really want to send her, but we have to. Anyway, so these are the five that we're sending to the market today. Um, they're a bit of a variety of uh, conditions, but they were all scanned as not being in lamb. So we'll just have to, to go with that and, uh, and send them on their way. Um, so I'm going to read the ear tags um, now. So we've read the ear numbers. There was just one ewe with a particularly dirty tail. Um, so cleaned that up. And now we just need to load them up. Paperwork's done. Um, just time to get going. After we dropped off the ewes at Bakewell Market, we didn't stick around. We went back to the farm and straight up to the moor to take a bale where it started snowing again. There's 18 Highland cows on the moor and they are having a bale every three days and water as and when they need it depends how dry it is. As you can see, it was coming down heavy at this time and Nick's turn to drop the bale in today and he, he did an okay job. The cows are outside all year round and as a native breed they are well adapted and well suited to these cold wintry conditions and the short legs and the quite small cow means that they can scamper down the hillside. So the calves are on their way down the steep bit of hillside 
demonstrating Highland cow skills, which is sliding down. They've given up. It is snowing one minute and then sunny the next and then snowing again and then sunny, um, but it's not really settling. Um, and when the sun comes out, it feels quite lovely. So we've just dropped the cows on the moor bale and now I'm going to head back down to the farm and uh, see what's going to be happening next. morning so it is Friday today and we still have a little bit of snow on the ground. So it's not uh, it's not quite seven o'clock yet and uh, the sun has risen but it's behind some cloud and it's very similar morning to yesterday uh, cold, a little bit of dusting of snow and um, I was thinking with it being April 1st today that we might see a lamb uh, perhaps this morning but so far I've only got my singles left to check no lambs uh, so far on the 1st of April and uh, the official start date is the 5th and this morning the cows are at the water some of them they've broken it some of them they haven't Good morning, Doris. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We've already been fed. So the other deadline that we have been working towards is for our campsite, which is the other business that runs from Dale Farm. And we have our official opening day on Friday the 1st of April. So this is one of our furnished bell tents. It's actually lovely and cosy and warm in here today. Um, there's a fire in there, all of the different things that you might need, a fridge, hob, kettle, a box with all cutlery and pots and pans and stuff in it. So they're pretty cute. And between the campsite jobs and the farm jobs, we're now doing regular lambing checks throughout the day. So it is Friday night on the 1st of April and we are on the move. I'm having a little, of a, a little bit of a shuffle around with my sheep, different fields where I want them for lambing observations and whatnot. So I'm just going to get them moved now and then maybe tomorrow there might even be lambs. This is my singles group. They are actually going to move down tomorrow to another field a little bit further round by the farm. Then this field here and that field over there, I'm going to bring my group of 50 across. My triplets group, I'm going to swap and put them in the group where currently there are 50. And that field is a good field for me to make observations and bring them in easily if needed. So it's taken a lot of planning and a lot of thought to get to this point, hasn't it, Nick? Just a bit. So that's what we're doing. So these are the triplets, 17 triplets, and generally speaking with triplets, we will um, be monitoring them closely. Uh, so maybe we'll bring them in for a few days once they lamb, but until they lamb, they can stay out. Um, and then, yeah, if we need to top them up or create some adoptions, we will do that. Just 
Just take it steady. And then the field over the wall there is going to be shut up for the cows coming off the moor at the end of this month. So this is the triplets on our way to the triplets field I'm calling it. <laughs> and uh, then that'll be them done, not needing to move uh, and hopefully in a good field where it'll be handy for us to catch them and bring them in if we need to and uh, and really a good field for observations some of the fields that we have the uh they've got dips in and areas where the ewes can go out of sight whereas this field they're going to be very visible so ideal for multiple checks so that is the end of the video thank you for watching hope that you've enjoyed coming with us and uh see you next time